my travels across the internet, mostly viewing extra credits on PAX website, I found three games that exemplify how video games can be used as powerful artistic instruments. Every moment is full of meaning and emotion, so much so that saying anything about them beyond that could spoil the whole experience. Not wanting to do that, I'm going to fully recommend playing them right now, just like the extra credits guys did. They are free to play, and only take about a minute each to experience beginning to end. Their names are The Killer, Freedom Bridge, and Loneliness. You can find them here. A link should be in the description. These games are tiny and simple, but carry within them more power than any big budget video game to be released. They may have issues when it comes in the field of being an actual game, but the creator classifies them as not games. I suppose the experience may vary from person to person, but I think if you desire to see more artistic uses of video games, then these are what you want. So pause the video and come back after you're experiencing them. Now here's a snippet of music for the purposes of space wasting. <laughs> Assuming you came back, here are my in-detail thoughts of these not games. First up is Loneliness. This is the first of the three to be experienced by me thanks to extra credits leading me directly to it. You are a block person going throughout their life and perhaps trying to join other people and fit in society. Or you could feel frightened by others and try to avoid them. Or you could feel betrayed by your first failures to do so and avoid everyone still. Or you could feel like some supernatural being with power so immense that everything around you is pushed aside or something else, I'm sure. No matter what though, you'll always be a lonely block person. None of the other blocks will stay with you. Thus, you'll experience some form of loneliness. Perhaps you'll feel independent of the other block people or feel sorrow at their rejection of you. Just through gameplay, it can tell something about you. You could of course blow through the whole thing believing that it is a simple game where you're the super powerful entity mentioned before, but even that says something about you. You start Freedom Bridge the same way you do Loneliness, where you're a block. There is some barbed wire. Your gaming instincts tell you to get behind the barbed wire. Lacking any other option, you just pass straight through it, bringing immense damage to yourself. I was pretty disgusted at first, but a little blood won't stop me from getting through all these fences and towards freedom. When I was first going through, I thought that some enemy blocks might be pursuing me and using the trail of blood to find me, so I started making winding trails with it. That shows you the mentality you can get while playing this. You're going to be free, it's going to hurt, but so be it, it'll be worth it. You see the bridge and your excitement builds as you're almost free, but then reality comes crashing down as you cross the bridge and explode after hearing a loud shot. Surprise and astonishment was what I felt. I couldn't believe it really. Surely you could see this coming a mile away, but the feeling was still there. That you were so close to your goal it was stolen from you so violently. Pretty good way to inform the audience of Freedom Bridge on the border of North and South Korea. That deafening gunshot really sticks the idea into your head. Then there is The Killer, my favorite out of the bunch. In this one, you're a stick figure with a gun escorting a prisoner. You just hold space and watch as you force someone to travel large distances through varied terrain, all while knowing that at the end of this journey the prisoner will be killed, and it'll be you doing the killing. You have quite a bit of time to think about this on your way to your destination. You'll ask yourself after having to hit the prisoner so he can go faster, am I really going to kill him? Is there a way out of this? If you're used to playing shooters, you'll probably think that you have to kill them due to their linear nature in which you have no choice in what you do. You're just following instructions. The walk becomes more and more difficult as you think and despair over what's coming soon. Eventually, you'll reach the end and stop. You'll take aim. What I found was that there was no way I was going to shoot this person. I shot in the air and the prisoner went free. The camera slowly pans down to show the bodies of the many killed by those who couldn't do what I did. The text comes up and tells about the genocide in Cambodia. How people like me who showed mercy were killed as well. A message like that stays with you. Nothing I have played has built up that much suspense and emotion. Truly, truly astounding. So good job Jordan, and thanks for the experience. This has been Andrew Horning with LOEM Gaming. <laughs>